everyone, I'm Rachel from Minerva and today I'm going to talk to you about 10 dress patterns that we think are just going to be absolutely fabulous for your me-made wardrobe in the coming spring. Here we have the Kilo Wrap dress by Named Clothing. I think this is a very well-known pattern actually. It requires knit fabric with a fair degree of stretch. The bust ranges from 76 centimetres to 134 centimetres. That's a UK size 4 to 28. So a lovely expanded size range there. So this dress is relatively simple in construction, but extremely flattering. The fun thing about this pattern is that it's both a dress and a jumpsuit. The wrap front and trouser combination looks really chic in my opinion. It can be sewn with or without sleeves and the sleeveless version as you can see on the jumpsuit is finished with bias binding for a lovely neat edge. The neckline of the jumpsuit is finished with facing and features a button and loop closure at the back. The dress is maxi length but the slit running at the back is both practical and really really nice. It looks so nice. We recommend this Art Gallery Fabrics cotton jersey knit. This is great for this pattern because it has excellent stretch recovery. And just look at this print, it really does scream spring. Now I absolutely love this version of the Kilo Wrap dress by Mayu. It's made in the Art Gallery jersey fabric that we recommend and I think it's just absolutely stunning. Now I mentioned the expanded size range of the Kilo Wrap dress and here we have a absolutely beautiful version by Macy and she didn't have any problems whatsoever with the fit. She could sew it just as the pattern suggested. Here we have McCall's 7969 and this is a really popular pattern. Everyone seems to be making it. When you get into the details, it's really not difficult to see why. Bodice has a mock wrap detail, which is something I personally prefer to an actual wrap dress. There are a few skirt length options, so it comes to either just above the knee, just below the knee, or you can have this dramatic maxi length as you can see in view D. The bodice remains the same across all four versions, but there are plenty of options for sleeve and ruffle variations. View A features very full elbow length sleeves which are gathered into a narrow cuff. The sleeves in view B match the ruffle and trim combination of the hem. While in view C, it has this really dramatic two-tiered ruffle, which is just fantastic, bold and quite extra if that's how you're feeling. View D features pretty, slightly understated, but no less pretty flutter sleeves, which allow for the drama of the maxi length skirt. This is a pullover dress, so there are no zips or other fiddly closures to work. You can just pop it on and go, and this makes it lovely and easy to wear. For this pattern, we recommend the Liberty Crepe de Chine, which comes in three beautiful shades, navy black and a really stunning emerald green. Now you can see our Liberty London silk in action here with McCall 7969. Heather Elise has done a pattern hack so that it's now not a dress, but rather a top. She says she achieved this by simply shortening the skirt so that it hit at hip height. I also really love this version by Jerry. I think just the lengthened skirt gives it a really nice boho, free-flowing spring-summer vibe. It's definitely what you want in the warmer months. This pattern is McCall's 7948, which is definitely what I think of when I hear spring and spring wardrobe. The bust runs from 89 centimetres to 123 and the pattern is 6 to 14 or 16 to 22 so there are two ranges so be sure to pick the correct one for your preferred size. The recommended fabrics are woven non-stretch so cotton, linen, crepe or Swiss dot. There are many options for sleeve and skirt variations. 
The bodice features a high shallow neckline and a slightly raised waistline. It closes at the back with a thread loop and eye. And I think this is such a pretty dress, there is definitely something for everyone's tastes. Views A and B feature a pleated skirt and short sleeves with an additional ruffle on view B. Views C and D feature a two-tiered gathered skirt. C is sleeveless, while D has three-quarter length sleeves finished with a ruffle similar to view B. D also has a trim at the top of each tier of the skirt and the sleeve ruffles as well. We recommend this beautiful white Swiss dot cotton, which is lightweight, 100% cotton fabric. It has a subtle texture which brings interest to a simple fabric. The Core 7948 is very versatile and if you've got some experience or are quite confident with doing your own thing when it comes to patterns, then you might be able to create some really cute puffed sleeves. I think that would look adorable. Some of our community makers have made some really beautiful versions. I like this version by Thanks I Made Them, who has added an extra tier to the bottom of it, making it this really lovely maxi dress. I think it's perfect. Abby Sews has combined this pattern with McCall 7969 to create this really lovely mashup. The next pattern I want to look at is Simplicity 8875. But the bust is uh, ranging from 78 to 112 centimeters. Um, this is divided into two pattern packs, so be sure to select the correct range for your size. So the fabric required is woven, non-stretch, and the pack it recommends lawn or crepe de chine. And we think that this John Caldo Fernando Viscose Chalet is just absolutely lovely and would make a fantastic dress. So the pattern offers a couple of different hemlines and plenty of sleeve variations. View A hits below the knee because of the long ruffle. The hem curves up into the centre of the body. And there are gathers at the bust and the waistline sits just beneath the bust which mirrors the shape of the hem. This is the same across all four views. The sleeves are full length and slightly billowy at the cuffs. See in view A, the shoulders are gathered to create um, a similar sense of volume as at the wrist. Both A and B feature button closures which run down the centre of the bodice and halfway down the skirt. View C is sleeveless but has this very pretty flutter collar that drapes over the shoulders and comes to a point. View D is shorter with a straight hemline and short flutter sleeves. All four are fastened at the back with an invisible zipper. I really love Simplicity 8875 because of the really lovely vintage options that you have with styling um, and with the overall effect that you're aiming for. So it could either be the 1970s or the 1940s and it all depends on your fabric choice and then of course how you put your outfit together. So I really like this version by Liz. I love the combination of the bold floral prints and the full sleeves that go into the little uh, gathered cuff. I think this is very boho, it's very on trend and it's just Delightful. I love that she styled it with the little fur gilet. It's definitely giving me some real groovy vibes. Now in contrast we have one that's done by Katie and she's gone for the shorter poof sleeve and she's identified this as a bit of a tea dress for a tea dance and it definitely evokes that really lovely elegant but slightly nostalgic 1940s era and the way she has done it with the pink curls and the makeup um, is just really, really elegant. Here we have Simplicity 8014. This shirt dress is a classic and will fit right in with your homemade wardrobe, especially because of the different skirt, sleeve and collar variations. The bust runs from 78 to 117 centimetres and requires fabrics such as chambray, cotton, linen and denim. Here at Minerva we have this wonderful 8 ounce denim in dark blue which would recreate the dress on the pattern packet perfectly. 
be aware with denim that the dyes do transfer onto pale surfaces. It leaks colour and fades over time. You get some really interesting distress marks due to creases and folds and this is just the nature of denim. Because it's denim you're going to need a denim needle and I will pop a link to that below. Views A and B have flared skirts in full and knee lengths. This type of skirt gives me like a real vintage feel. The full length sleeves are finished with a neat cuff and there are darts at the bust and at the waist at both the front and the back. All four versions are closed with buttons that run down the centre front. View A has a traditional shirt collar and two breast pockets that close with like flapped buttons. All four versions have inseam pockets and if that doesn't make you want to sew this dress I don't know what will. It always needs pockets. View B has short cuffed sleeves more like a shirt dress more like a t-shirt dress there are also options for full sleeves which are then rolled up and fastened in place with the button and tab closure there is also this option here for a stand collar and a waist tie view c is the same length as view b but with a slim fit skirt instead and view d is a mini dress which is finished with a shirt tail hem so it's got this lovely curved shape to it now a really good example of how this denim works um, in combination with the shirt dress style is this project by buttons and bobbins now it is self-drafted but she does recommend simplicity 801 for as the pattern to recreate what she has gone for and you can see we've got the full length sleeves with the turn up and the tab closure and the sort of longish but not flared skirt as you can see the denim with the shirt dress style is just classic you have the breast pockets and the button down details down the front but yeah the denim is light enough that to sew with but not too heavy that it'll make look all bulky next up we have style arcs adeline dress which is really really popular the bust runs from 77 centimeters to 107 centimeters and then 112 centimeters to 148 centimeters so there are two ranges and be sure to pick the correct range for your desired size Although it looks quite simple, there are a few really neat details that really elevate the entire dress, looking really modern and fashionable. The short sleeves feature a modern looking cuff, while the elegant v-neck line has a facing which allows it to lie smoothly over the collarbones. The slight curved hem is also finished with a facing, which gives this dress the structure it needs to keep this really cool, neat shape. This pattern is finished off with two oversized patch pockets that sit on the front at hip height. It looks just really, really elegant and chic. We recommend this Robert Kaufman yarn dyed Essex linen cotton, which is really lovely and comes in such a wonderful range of colours. Yarn dyed simply means that the yarn was dyed before being woven into the fabric which gives it a very natural look, almost rustic, but not too much. So if you pick one of these more contemporary colours, it definitely negates the rustic feel. Now I really like this version of the Adeline dress by the Unfinished Seamstress. As you can see, it's all exactly as the pattern suggests, no real adjustments to length or anything, but it just looks so contemporary and cool in this linen, and she's gone for the colour pickle and isn't it just so bright and lovely i definitely can see it bringing a splash of joy on a somewhat blustery spring day if it's anything like today it's showers and then sunshine and it's just going to take you through here we have dear and doe's myosotis dress the bust runs from 80 centimeters to 115 centimeters however the range 107 to 115 centimetres is available as a PDF pattern only. So the bodice of this dress features an attractive stand collar and button down shirt front. There are bust darts and waist darts in the front and back. 
version A has options for ruffled sleeves and a tiered skirt with a ruffle hem, while version B features plain short sleeves, more like a classic shirt dress with a gathered skirt. Again, we have this very easy to wear, slightly raised waistline and a mini length skirt. I've seen versions with skirts lengthened, which is perhaps necessary for us taller gals. I know I couldn't step outside in this length without a pair of leggings on, without causing a scandal. The fabrics required for this are woven non-stretch, such as chambray, rayon, twill, seersucker and crepe. We recommend this beautiful navy ripple crepe fabric with this gorgeous peachy floral. It's incredibly soft and drapey with a really subtle crinkle texture which is quite nice to sew with and just really tactile and it's just going to make a really swishy myosotis. So yeah what I really like about the myosotis dress is how versatile it can be. I really like this version by What Vicky Made where she's lengthened the skirt a little bit. As I mentioned, that's definitely a necessity for, for myself. I'm quite tall. Or you can go the other way entirely and shorten it into this cute little peplum top like Rimazolo has done here. Next on our list is Tilly and the Buttons Indigo Smock Top and Dress. This is a bit of a cult classic, really. Bust goes from 76 centimetres to 122 centimetres. Um, you need light to medium fabrics with a lot of drape, really. So cotton lawn, chambrays, rayons and crepe de chines. This pattern comes as both a top and a dress. So the length options are there for either of them. There are also options for bracelet length sleeves without flounces three quarter length sleeves with flounces. The raised waistline features either an exposed ruffle seam or a gathered seam. And did I mention that this also has pockets? So we recommend this Dashwood Studios Rayon Chalet, which has got great swish and drape. And the colourful geometric pattern is a real showstopper. It's going to feature and be stunning in your wardrobe. It will do all the talking for you. All you have to do is wear it. So very minimal effort for maximal impact. So yeah, please be sure to check out Tilly and the Buttons Indigo Smock Top and Dress Pattern on our website. There you'll be able to see other makers' versions and it's really just a wonderful place to get inspiration for your next project. The next dress is Simplicity 8640 which is a really fun tunic dress that can be worn as it is or layered over t-shirts and tights or leggings. The bust ranges from 83cm to 127cm and the recommended fabrics are woven, non-stretch, so fabrics like chambray, cotton and linen. Now it has some positive ease which makes it nice and loose. This makes it ideal as the weather gets warmer or even as it gets cooler and you want to add layers underneath. It comes in two lengths, either above or below the knee, and it can be made with or without sleeves, depending on how casual you want your dress to be. The handkerchief hem is really light and floaty, very feminine. I can see this being useful in the garden or on a lovely springtime walk, which is why we think this enzyme-washed 100% linen fabric is the best choice here. I love linen for the warmer months, but it does require a bit of wearing in. Not here though, it's already been done for you. Now, unfortunately, there aren't many um, versions on our website of Simplicity 8640 that I can show you. However, I am very taken with this one by Lazy Days. Now, I think this goes to show just how versatile this dress is, and it really is down to fabric choice. She's gone for a chalet, which makes me think of pims in the garden or a lovely traditional high tea. Now, last but not least, we have McCall's 7974. I think this is my personal favourite out of all the dresses we've looked at today, which is saying something because I really love all of them. 
The finished bust measurements range from 87 centimeters to 121 centimeters, and the pattern recommends woven non stretch such as cotton blends, crepe, and lawn. This is a button down front dress that features a gathered bust which fits into this wonderfully shaped waistband. There are further gathers at the shoulders as well as at the centre back between the body and the yoke. There are two options for skirt length. Views A and B are roughly knee length while C and D are midi length which is extremely on trend right now and super flattering. The deep v-neck is great on its own but on view D there is a really lovely pointed collar and I have to say view D reminds me of my favourite ready to wear summer dress so I think this is going to go in my queue because I need to recreate this for myself. There are some really great sleeve options here. View A has short sleeves which are gathered into a cuff that features a really lovely tie detail. View B has bracelet length sleeves which are similarly gathered into a cuff, while view C has a two-tiered gathered sleeve which creates this really cute poof around the elbow. I love it. View D is of course sleeveless which is why that little collar detail really adds a special something. I think this dress is really versatile. It has a lovely vintage quality to it due to the gathers at the bust and the yoked midriff along with the long row of buttons down the centre front. With that said, we think the Lady McElroy Lena crepe is perfect for this pattern. The birds and the flowers really make me think of Downton Abbey, actually, especially in combination with the vintage feel of this dress and the cute details. It's definitely vaguely Edwardian, while still being really fashionable and modern. I think Cosmere has combined the fabric with this pattern beautifully. She's gone for the longer gathered sleeve into the cuff and it just gives it that beautiful timelessness, that Edwardian vibe that I mentioned and I'm just completely in love with this result. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video about our top 10 pattern picks for spring and summer. If you liked this video please don't forget to click the follow button above and do get involved with the conversation. If you have any questions or comments, do pop them below and we will get back to you in answer to those. All of the patterns and fabrics that I've mentioned today are tagged below and I've also created a little collection called Top 10 Dresses which you can find on my Minerva profile. I'm Asgard and Cake and I have included a link to that below as well. There you will find links to the fabrics, extras like needles, threads, interfacings, as well as the projects that I've mentioned so you can go and have a look and see what everyone has gotten up to with these patterns. You can also create a free Minerva account and you will get a little discount as a thank you. Also, if you make a Minerva profile, you can save posts, save products, create projects for your own makes, get involved with our community of makers. It's really fun over here and we'd love it if you got involved. And if you happen to have been eyeing up my lovely lemon blouse, this is something I made myself and I've included the links to the fabric and the pattern below as well. I got everything from Minerva so you can um, recreate this if you want to. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.